what's going on. Quarantine attorney bro. In the previous video we found out, we found out Mo saw something. He claims that he saw Max float away. Which, to me, and Max even revealed like, dude, I use like, you know, cords, invisible wires, so whoever controls that, right, I feel must have done it, because they have the knowledge to do that. But we'll see. You know, they've done this before where the actual killer doesn't show up until, you know, the second investigation. I'm just rambling. Let's let's get let's get it going. Hi Maya. <clears throat> December 29th. Dude, it's almost New Year's. It's almost 2021. <laughs> um, Nick? What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yep. Magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But... But the trick Pearly showed me was incredible! Pearls did a magic trick? Hmm... What, what kind of trick was it? Let's see... It looks like she pulled the end of her own thumb off! Oh my gosh, dude. Sometimes this game is just intolerable. Heh. <laughs> First she put her right thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated! She could move it up and down and everything! It was incredible! Really? Was it kind of like this? Oh, what? what? How did you do that? Nick, you're like a real magician. See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Do we need to ask Maya what she thinks of some evidence? No, we don't. What to do? Yeah, what to do, actually. I say we head back to... I say we head back to talk more to, uh... Trillo? And Mo. I feel like they both are... are telling... Huh? Or they're both uh, not telling you something. I don't see any way out of this. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's no way we can solve the mystery of a criminal flying by tomorrow. I was thinking, do you really think the criminal flew through the air? The only one who thinks that is Mo, right? He says that he saw it. That's true. That's exactly what I said. Mo looked awfully serious when he said that. You know what? Like. Come to think of it, Mo Mo couldn't be it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Do you think he might be trying to frame Max? If that was it, he would have simply said, I saw Max. That would have been enough. That's what he did say. Come on now. There's no reason why anyone would believe he flew. But what if the criminal really did fly? There's only one person who could do that. Max! He told us at the end of the video that he uses invisible wires. It's like- it's almost like this game is intolerable, so it tries to mess you up. Oh my- okay, you're definitely not helping- yeah, seriously. Okay, I'm not even gonna ask you for any ideas, let's just move. Move, move, move. Let's talk to Max, bro. I got my coffee on hand. It is- it is investigation time. Oh, my sweeties. You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there, please. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. And since I'm a famed magician, they said, Let's make you your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica, The Great Prison Escape. It would be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's 
what I was thinking. But the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. <laughs> you seem awfully calm about that possibility. I'd have no choice. It would be a con con contractual obligation. That's show business. Okay, you need to answer some questions for me. Please. Um, the night of the crime, you didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here's how everything went down, sweetie. Okay. I have to take his word as fact, because he's not, he's not only my client, but, like, why would he be lying to me? You know, that's usually how it's been since, since game one. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is just not something I can do at will. I don't care what the stoogy clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? He told us already. Hmm. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. And also expensive equipment that helps me. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. Can I- can you elaborate on that, please? God. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask of you. Anything for you, sweetie. <laughs> Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Yeah, f facts, actually. Like, you're a dick. Be humble. You're the star, share the, share the spotlight. Fabulous! A great joke, why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like that? But... I've won the world stage, I won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix? Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at the circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something I can simply not tolerate. Ambition, huh? Huh? Something about what Max... Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. Yeah, facts. Grand Prix, I was gonna say. Oh my! My sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest though, I've told this story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit bored. We're sorry to make you tell it again, but like... We need your help to prove you innocent. You must not have heard me. I am really sick of telling the story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Voila! Here, take a look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Do they not confiscate, confiscate everything you have when you enter prison? Am I mistaken? Just take a look at this fabulous- at that fabulous stage. Okay. Yo, that- that trophy looks an awful lot like the vase from, uh, episode 5. Kinda. That is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night, the emotions, the acclaim. Wow. Um, by the way, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. It, I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. Okay, never mind. I was, let that fly over my head. Okay, I'm not gonna touch on it. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. Hey Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Ooh. Okay. I see, I possibly see where this is going. Look and learn. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail. Photo of Max's award ceremony. Okay, I need to look at that right now. I feel like-
like there's something here I'm supposed to be seeing, but I don't see it. Like, what is that in the back? What is he doing with those cards? I don't know. Alright, moving on. You, you hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. Yes, Trillo and uh, Ben. Alright, let's do it. Are you ready? Y yes. Uh, uh, wait. Quit your whining. Let's just give it a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but Trillo, this isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're going to have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you going to do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret cross-training course? Uh, I'm sorry. Secret cross-training? Whoa. Whoa. Yes, Trillo wouldn't, wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea for a new routine. So... We were trying to sing in a round for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can't really do that. That's incredible. You can really do that? That's incredible. I read that one. See? See? Even they are surprised by the idea. I told you. They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we've got a grip on the basics, that's then it's just a matter of practice. You, 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 you think so? Oh! I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I've got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. Some, this music, after like a few minutes, drives me insane. There are better tracks, I'll be honest. Okay, you need to answer something for me, bruv. Um... Nah, let's just talk. Okay. Um, I know that you already testified in court today. You want to talk about what we saw, right? Yes. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted. Right, Ben? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. But then, we said hello and didn't even get a reply. Oh, we're talking about, um... Uh, who they thought was Max. All right. Not to mention he was trapped, draped in those gaudy symbols. Who would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm. What do you think, Ben? What? Uh, oh, um, I would have thought it was the Ringmaster. Hmm. Something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who he, who they really saw. It must have been the ringmaster. I'm I'm confused. Okay, marriage. The 16-year-old. Ugh. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. That's why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? That's so sweet. But if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you check out the tent? Ha! You haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Eh? Waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue, you would know that waiting, you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. Where your body aches for your partner's love. That's, that's one of the best parts. Okay, God, I can't read. Um, yeah, I, I knew that. Or Maya. She's so red, she looks like a vine red tomato. Okay. So how is this new routine working out? Oh yeah, the, the course. Well, you two just take a chill pill already. Our routines are secret. We're going to take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a real revolution. That sounds incredible. But let me make one thing clear. We're not going to take on the world just because that jerk said we should. 
That jerk? Max Galactica. A former shit aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Trillo, you seem to really be fired up about all of this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. Oh shoot, I was supposed to show them the picture. You're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Mark my words. I, Triloquist, will win the Grand Prix. Ooh. Okay. Okay. You're the man now, doll. You're the man now, doll. What? Row, row, row your boat will be the gate to a glorious victory. Um, not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? Hey, you've got to start somewhere, right? Right? <laughs> Excuse me. Don't screw this up. You've got to be a part of this, too. Okay. I totally forgot to show them uh, the picture. Here we go. Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, uh um, uh, uh, I, um, that, uh, 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 I guess we won't need you to take a look at it. What are you talking about? He told us to show them this. Okay. Can I show them anything? Maybe the hat? Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, okay. Alright, whatever. Oh, good god. Um... Oh my god, his voice hurts my throat, dude. I need to find some way to do his voice better. Oh, it's you two. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? Uh, I'm not taking a rest. I'm not taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Yeah, well, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to that old clown sucks all of your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at, he looks at you like you should be doing something. I, for real, know people like that. Um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes, maybe. I know, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? Yeah. Yes. Francisca really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're not gonna get me to backbite a woman with a whip. No way. What the hell is backbite? I've never heard that before. Why are you defending her? Yeah, facts. Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely, and every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof. There she is. Don't show up. 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 Looks like she's wound him up pretty tight. Pulse. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room behind the window up there? The acrobat's got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal. We haven't met the acrobat yet. They've, they've talked about the acrobat. We haven't met the acrobat yet. Uh, Franziska Von Karma. When she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Why not we just go up there and check it out right now? Let's beat her to it, brother. Bro. I don't think we need to investigate anything or like examine anything here. Can we talk to Mo? I really don't want to talk to Mo, but, like, I think it would be helpful. Oh, thank God. Mo's not here. If he was here, you would have been able to, you know what, you would have been able to tell even before you stepped into his room. I'm sure you would have heard him laughing away. Ha 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 ha. 
What do you think he is laughing at when he's all by himself? His existence. I always thought he was just thinking up new jokes. Hmm. He must really love his work. Uh, is there anything new here? Okay, I don't think we need to, uh... Yeah. Yeah, let's move again. So let's go to the circus entrance. Let's go to the big top. I really do not want to talk to, uh... I don't even... Regina? Huh? Where's Regina? I don't know. If she's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Yeah, I don't want Phoenix to get hurt this episode, please. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Hey, Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? Okay, okay. no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just uh, uh, allergic to wild tigers. Yeah. Good one. Good one, brother. Is there something here, really? Jesus Christ, brother. Uh, this man is not it. Ah, right. Welcome to the wonderful, wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria. Yikes, he is in an awfully good mood. All right, you know what time it is. Riddle time. Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um, come on, you can answer this. It's easy. Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction? Mmm, wrong. Try again. Okay, what do you think, girly? Um, ah, I got it. Okay, what is your answer? Because they are in the cafeteria. Exactly. It's an incredibly sad place that ca- huh? I did it! What the hell is going on here? He's being too nice. Immediately. Ah, not this picture. He showed it to you guys too. Huh? You've seen it as well? Well. You know that they say, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. He really gets around. Is that supposed to be a sexual joke? <laughs> oh yeah. He didn't just show me the picture. What do you mean? He showed me his bust, too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous. Oh, the I see the thing in the back. Yeah. I pointed that out, too. It's in the picture, I think. He'd make us worship it every day. He made us bow to his greatness. He's got a... big... bust. I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. <laughs> Relax, me. Phoenix. Let's just, like, I don't need to listen to him. Maybe I do. Max's bust should- Max's bust should be on that small table over there. Where? Oh, the thing in the bag! Oh, okay. There's nothing over there. <laughs> what do you mean, really? Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. When was it? I'd say about five days ago, all of a sudden, the bust disappeared. It disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max just had to put the picture up. Hmm. Hey, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. How about you go get a job, Maya? <laughs> Bronze statue taken from the cafeteria before the crime. Uh, Max Chiba. So we just have a picture of it. We don't necessarily... Is there anything else that's changed about... Wait, is there anything else that's changed about this place? Nope. Nothing's changed that I can see. I wonder if he's actually thinking about this or if he's setting up a bad joke. Nope. Nope. I'm drawing a blank here. Quiet Mo is a good Mo in my book. Same. 
there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Uh, I can't read sometimes. It's hard. Well, there is this one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us, please, dude. This is an investigation. We need help. Hold up, let me look at that picture. What are those cards he's holding? He's not wearing his roses. Well, on the morning of the crime over on the bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted front and center. Piece of paper? It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes! It says... To the murderer. M murderer Yep, that's what it says. But the rest of it has been ripped off. Okay, so we need to find that. Okay. Damn, we are in it already. Already, it's been a half hour. Come on. And I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. <laughs> before the murder? Yes, the ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? Oh, it's in, like, uh, magazine letters, too. Posted in the cafeteria on the day of the crime. Then torn, states to the murderer. Someone is really theatrical about their, uh... Their thing here, you know? Nick, I think we'd better follow up on this... Important lead. Same. Do I even have to talk to him about that stuff? Like, let's experiment. Let's let's not talk to him about that. Let's go to the ringmaster's room. I bet it's in here. Yeah, this was a waste of time. Great. Yeah. Let's move back. Okay. <laughs> um... Really? Like, oh, ooh. Would you mind taking a look at this? I, really? You don't have anything to say about that? Yo, for real. All right, shoot, fine. Let me go talk to, um, let me go uh, finish talking to Mo. Yeah, today's trial. Okay, bud. Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me. I didn't think I was going to be so tough. It was going to be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning, I had to smash watermelons. Hmm. I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. You even used the fame, no shoes, no shirt, no service joke. Exactly. How can you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? Come on, bro, there has to be something here. Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw. I swear, that creep just... flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying, per se. It was more like floating. What style? The silhouette on his face made me positive it was Max. Oh, someone used the bust. Whoa. Okay. Someone used the bust. But, like, how did they do that? Someone must have been holding it. No, because there's no footprints. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Things are clicking. Tight. Okay. I don't see a psych lock. He must be telling the truth. This is so anime. I've been watching Bleach lately. Okay, dude, where is it? Oh, I can probably go back to, um... I can probably go back to, uh... Uh, I have to present something to somebody. I feel like Mo knows more than he's letting on. Oh wait, I could always present this, yeah. Do you know anything about this note? 
The morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I do know all about that note. And when I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company? I guess it wasn't really company, a company. It was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. Mm. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tailcoat. Oh my gosh, brother. Can't we just, like, take it? No, there has to be a certain order. Okay, there are, like, uh, uh, triggers, right? Really? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. Okay, I don't really want to talk to her, but... Uh, if that's what needs to be done, brother. If that's what needs to be done, brother. Oh, uh, let's, let's do it. Let's go to the big top. Move. Let's go to the ringmaster's room. Examine. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of the tailcoat. You know, I got a feeling I know what that is. I bet that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Then let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. Yeah. Nice, dude. I knew it. It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say, dude? To the murderer. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. This is before the murder. To the murderer. This happened before the murder that we're investigating. So is there another murder? That like no one's talking about? Hmm. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the lodging house plaza. <gasps> the ringmaster! Someone really is trying to frame Max. Dude, it's the acrobat. Okay, theory time. It's the acrobat, because what do acrobats do? Like, they fly through the air, right? Who is now the most popular person that flies through the air? Max. Bro. Like... Stop it. Bet it up. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Facts. Turn the right ringmaster. Found his tailcoat pocket. Yep, say less. Okay. I really need to look at it again. The ringmaster's tailcoat. This has been a uh, clean and kind of perfect case. The ringmaster is like, uh, this. Uh, okay, okay, whatever. We need to move. We need to move. We need to move. Move, 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 move. Move. Uh. Where are we moving to? Can we talk to Max about it? What about this? Fabulous. You'd like me to sign this? F oh my God. Okay, never mind. Uh, 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 move. Uh, move. Gumshoe, take a look at this note, brother. Actually, don't take a look at this note, brother, because, like, you're working with Franziska and we don't... Yeah. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well... I am done with the investigation of the acrobat, finally. But with Miss Von Karma. Yeah, that sounds like a, a Power Ranger uh, thing. Nick, what is that? That beeping sound? Yeah, I felt like if I listened to this for like an hour, I would go insane. This is torture for real. Hmm. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Quick. See you, pal. I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. I've never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Dude, she's 18. She's an adult. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. And I also want to stop this- Ow! This 
biting lashes from a whip. Uh, how you haven't been charged for, like, assault is beyond me. You knocked out me in court in front of, like, the public. You just knocked out an 18-year-old girl as well. Von, von, von Karma! She really did appear. You think Gumshoe was lying, dude? It was a real battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day. The day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? Ah ha ha ha. National news? You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win just by some <laughs> by just a smidge. Facts. Uh, I almost don't want to show you this, but like, I need help. What about this? She hit me again. <laughs> you should hold off the wild goose chases. Okay, for real, for real. Um, what about this? Okay, never mind. Let's just talk to her. We don't need to present anything. Miss Von Karma, it appears you've got your hands onto something big, huh? We have to talk big in front of Von Karma. We're, we're not a uh, small fry with Von Karma. Huh. I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory with ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? You just got smooth, like, eluded by the actual killer. <laughs> You're an idiot. A conclusive witness? You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, 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 I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me? I can't worry about her. I gotta try and find out more information myself. Revenge, yeah. Relax. Like, your dad was a bad guy. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. My dad. You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course, your dad. I know you miss him. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of whip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this? Or in, in huh? Or any other conversation? You said... In... The first trial, like the previous trial, with with um the um the phase that you wanted revenge for no, did Phoenix just assume that? I think. Whoa, actually, okay, hold up. Okay, let's let's hear her out. Then then what's this revenge you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I have to see him again. One more time. Him? I'm sure you know to whom I refer. Miles Edgeworth? What are you talking about? Okay, wait. Okay. Let's just... Okay. What? Edgeworth? Mr... Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth? I'm not very good at stuttering. I, I can't, like, fake stutter. I'm just naturally good at practical stuttering. Miles Edgeworth. Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? Yeah. Manfred von Karma, yeah. Exactly right. It was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was... Right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Little? What are you talking about? You're 18. He's like 24. Capcom, come on, dude. Huh? Little brother? But Nick... But Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. 
Please show him. Yeah. Yeah, Miles Edgeworth, dude. What a great character. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. I fought against him in a few cases. <laughs> but a little after that case was over, he vanished. It's your fault he's gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I... Nick, what does she mean? <laughs> Maya thinks he's dead, right? He's not dead, brother, come on. Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. And then... With the case after that one. Oh yeah. The, uh, the Skies? The Sky Sisters? Oh no, I, okay, after the Von Karm one. He never set foot in the court into a court again. And then one day, he just vanished. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. No, it, it was. It was the Sky. Um, thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because that's where he found out he's been uh, accidentally submitting false evidence, right, right? Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Oh, that's what he said? I thought it was like a resignation letter. That was one year ago. It was a few months after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth? He's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive, I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name Von Karma. I'm going to find him. And then... I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. <laughs> Whoa. D Nick! Um, about Mr. Edgeworth. Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again. Okay? N Nick? Miss Von Karma. What? I don't know if you were God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I've had about enough of you. Him, too. W what in the world happened? Hmph. <laughs> this dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you two of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. <laughs> this is so theatrical. Come on, this like no one really cares about this. Nick, let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. Just fine. Can we just go to the third floor, please? Jesus. <laughs> oh, you're in a wheelchair, dude. Whoa. Okay, I I can see why you definitely want some like revenge type. You're a bird man too, I see. You must be Phoenix Wright. Y yes Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. <laughs> okay. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Mr. Acro! Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly performed on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform is in my wheelchair. This is not the appropriate music for, um, what is going on right now. I'm actually going to turn it down because... Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. 
Then one night, they decided to r run away from it all, without me. <laughs> they, <laughs> they just left you behind? <laughs> what? The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the Ringmaster. The Ringmaster took such incredible care of me, he was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the Ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes, I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Hmm, wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute, she's truly a princess. Yeah, she's also 16, but relax. Truly a princess. Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Hmm. Do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? Uh, yeah, seriously. Is that why you're in a wheelchair? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. Since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. It's him. I, it's him, bro. Seriously. Like, I'm sure it's him. That's awful. The accident happened during an acrobatics session, right? Um... Ooh... Seriously? Dude, come on, I'm an hour in. Don't introduce me to a cycloc. Jeez. It doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. Dude, I, I guarantee you Max did something. It doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well... Exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago. What What in the world went on at the circus then? Six months ago. Okay. I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah. You went there for rehabilitation. What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it. When I saw what I saw... What you saw... Jeez, that sounded really ominous. I wish there was a transcript button for this game, like Danganronpa? Come on. Or just any other game. Coffee Talk has a transcript button for crying out loud. Yeah, what does that mean? What did you see? You said you were at the hospital. Is on the news? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? Oh. <laughs> Him floating, right. He was flying straight up into the air. H he? The bust, dude, come on. Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max that you saw flying. I am absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. N nick I have the bus. Like... Could I use that, maybe? Hmm. What's this? 
That's what we that's what we want to know. It was posted in the cafeteria the morning of the murder. In the cafeteria. <laughs> that you know what that face says to me? That face says, that's not where I put it. <laughs> what happened? He suddenly looks incredibly serious. If it's got something to do with her, then you should go straight to the source. Her? Regina. Ask her about it. Okay, I don't know about those. Maximilian Galactica, right? You'll have to forgive me, but I try not to think about him. Ekro won't even, Ekro won't even look at it. Yeah, because he doesn't want to, like, uh, profess to the murder. Looks like something is really weighing on him. Yeah, he's the one that put him in the wheelchair, dude. Come on. Maximilian Galactica, right? You'll have to forgive me, but I try not to think about him. Yeah. Huh. You know anything about this box, brother? What do you think of this? I'm sorry, but in my present physical condition, I don't really know much about what goes on outside in this room. Dude, that doesn't mean- Oh! 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 Um... No need to apologize. Okay, uh, 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 let me ask you about the monkey then, because you look after him. Yeah. Huh. Money is a great friend to me. That pile of treasure over there is his collection, huh? It is indeed. Money will bring anything back with him. Aww, that's so cute. Yeah, I'm not great with the ladies, but I seem to be pretty popular with the animals. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, oh, I don't have the ring either. Yeah, you you don't know anything about the fight, do you? Yeah, okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. dude, look at my uh, badge. I'm an attorney, bro. You don't care? That's cool. I don't think I have the correct answers to the, um, psych lock. I was having so much trouble figuring out what that was called. Dun, dun, oh yeah, wait. Can I show it to these guys? Did I already show it to these guys? Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, uh, uh wow, okay. You have nothing to say about that? That's wild. That's so suspicious, too. Let's get this over, Regina. Oh shit, the tiger, bro. No, 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 no. Phoenix, run away, bro. Run away! Run away! Filet of Phoenix. Stay, stay, heal! I hate you. Oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. A uh, 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 mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. You were trying to kill money? A, a monkey? Right. I need you to answer some questions. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. R really Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It, it was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket. Hmm. I guess I noticed. I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? You mean the day of the murder? Yeah, I always take Agro his breakfast in the morning. He slipped it into her pocket, brother. Are you serious? That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I'd go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realized this piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep. But since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. And then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, it's this game is so hard to keep up with. Because, like, I just can't tolerate the stupidness of these people. I did! I stuck it up there. How'd you know? Hmm. So it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Dude, it originates from Acro. I, I'm calling it. 
Come on, dude. Now watch me be wrong. Um, the morning of the murder, I think. The morning of the murder of my father, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. Dude, you can't put it together that if you just found it in your pocket after you gave Acro his breakfast... Yeah, okay. Found in Regina's pocket on the morning of the crime. That's great, bruh. Take a look at this, too. There's no denying it. Max is cool. I want to try flying someday with Max. She's already flown off into her own little world. Nick, I want to try flying, too. Uh, okay. I'll think about it. <laughs> There's no denying it. Max is cool. Okay. Yep, you're right. Um... He just loves to cause nothing but trouble, that cute little monkey. But don't you think using a tiger to scare him is just a bit much? Huh? Why is that? <laughs> Do you really have to ask that? It's dangerous to use a tiger for that kind of thing. It's not dangerous at all. <laughs> Regan's, Regan's just a little kitten. I've seen plenty of kittens, and that's no kitten. Come on now. Uh, oh wait, wait. Here we go. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He just, he must have been a quite, quite, huh? He must have been quite a man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Watch her do it. Watch it be her. You know? That's crazy. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Right. Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with Dad. And he told me that. Who's Leon? When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A, a s star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. It's kind of sweet. But I bet there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Dude, he he was thinking that. Like, do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Oh my gosh, yes, you will, dude. Come on. I've got a feeling that everyone is still there. Okay, I wonder if everything's all right with Regina. Dude, she's not. I think she's, like, messed up. Just to go back and clear things up, why'd you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Huh? Something that means a lot to you? It must be something shiny, right? Your ring? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. We should. When the costume gets hit with the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. I'll get it for you. But of course. Oh, sh I didn't mean to... Leave it, leave it all up to us. I guess there's no turning down the request. Yay! You're really gonna do it? Yes, I guess, dude. Come on. Let's just go back to Akro's room, then. No. Uh, no. Examine. Ew! It's a huge pile of trash. One man's trash is missed another monkey's treasure. I guess you're right. Look, they're all shiny things. He's even got a motorcycle exhaust. What do they call this thing? Oh, a, a tuba, right? Of course it's a tuba, silly. You didn't know that? Hey, it's a picture of Regina. Well, she is a shining beauty. No objections here. Dude, where's her costume at? If, if money has it, it should be here. Money must use this to swing around on. 
Go ahead, Nick. I know you want to ride on it, too. Yeah, maybe later. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Are those just monkeys, uh, fingerprints? Or fingerprints, like prints, then? Um... Oh, no. Hmm, Mo's not here. What's that? I hear something. S stop it, Nick! You're scaring me! Okay, good. Oh, good, actually. Nick, it's money! Yep, there goes the little vest. Yep, the monkey's holding something. That's it. That's the thing. That means a lot to Regina, remember? All right, time to take on this monkey, attorney style. Ooh, 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 scratch, scratch. Yeah, intimidation tactics. <laughs> he said, huh? It's clearly smoke, yeah. I tried to have a monkey-to-monkey -monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, you, you... I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it. Let me see it. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. <laughs> Nick is like, D I got it. It's mine. Maybe then you'll take you to the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Hmm. What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well. I guess it's time for- I guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. That's a fat shaming joke. Come on, dude. Not to mention it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. A shiny spangled vest, it's not Maya's size at all. So it's too small? Ah. Okay, so let's go back to Regina. I got your thing, dude. Here you go, Regina. Yay, thank you. You really got a bag for me. Don't mention it. I'm not saying that. She's 16, dude. That's a case, brother. That is a case. Hey, Regina. That costume is, is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Who is Leon? Leon's? You know, the lion she t Oh, okay. It's either her or Acro. I promise you. Oh, the one that someone killed. Damn, that is a... That is... That lion has a good aesthetic, that's all I'm saying. Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down, and then he opened his mouth, you know. Ah! Uh-huh, uh huh, uh -huh. Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You, you sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways, what was the bad thing? Oh yeah. Leon bit someone during that practice. R R Regina! Everything was alright though, right? Nah. It wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And the person that he bit... ...lost nerves in their legs. This is a setup. And that's when Leon... Yeah. That's when he became a star in the sky. Yo, the ringmaster was like, this thing's gotta be put down. Poor thing. 
The animal shows Lion, shot by the ringmaster six months ago for biting a performer. Oh. Okay. Yep. I'm not gonna, like, continue on anything. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go back. Nope. We got nothing to talk to her about. In fact, let's, we're going back to Acro. We need to talk to this man. da 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 what do you think of this? I'm sorry, but in my present- What are you talking about? Oh, here we go. Um... Uh... Hold up. I think now I have the appropriate things for the, uh... Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. He has three. It's wild. Let's get it done. About the wheelchair. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry. I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Yes. Unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real cake, if that were the real cause, he'd have no reason to keep it secret. Facts. Acro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? I think it's this, right? Yep, the music stopped. Okay. Leon, six months ago, you were attacked by a lion. That's when you were injured. Facts. Okay, I got it. I know I'm on the right track, I just gotta keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming for me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. So how about it, Acro? Uh, shoot. Okay. You mind if I ask one question first? Go ahead. What do you want to know? Why would I possibly battle the king of the jungle for something like that? Huh? I must be going in the wrong direction. Mr. Wright, I assure you that it would take more for me to go after a lion. You seem to be enjoying telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle one? Because you had to fight it to save someone. Um. Ooh. Maybe? So how about it, Acro? You mind if I. Okay, okay. No, I can't. Uh, I can't load. I'm gonna lose. To save someone? Okay. I feel like there's more to talk about with other people. <clears throat> Let us try talking to these two more. Yeah, what do you know about Lion? Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, 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 okay. Uh, where's Mo at again? He's in the cafeteria, right? Um, okay, we're back here again. Something smells fantastic. So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Bistro del Cir uh, du Cirque, aka the cafeteria. Hmm. It smells so good in here, and those burgers look great. My eyes hurt. Ow. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce. They are absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger. 
One bite will send you into hamburger heaven. I bet. I can tell by the smell. Whoa, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. Jeez. Uh, now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you going to do? That's all I've thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger. He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. Acro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking about trying on the ringmaster's shoes. Huh. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue with his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo? All that's left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know. The tragedy. You know. What is he talking about? Get over it. Get over what tragedy? Maybe the death of the ringmaster! Huh? D don't worry about it. It's nothing. Nothing at all. Ooh, get over the tragedy. Man, okay. I'm- okay, I'm interested now. You, uh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. He must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? That's what I thought. No, yep. See, he jumps straight to it. He's like, oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's it. You're right, girly. Dang, dang, dang. Correct, Amundo. Doesn't he mean ding? Right. Mo. I mean no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Uh, uh, no, not at all. What makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone can get over the tragedy it seemed a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. <laughs> oh, I'm right here, aren't I? Two Cyclops? Okay, at least you only got two. Okay, so now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Dude, everything happened six months ago, it seems. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, huh? Uh, shoot, dude, let's try it. I mean... I think I have everything. I can... Okay, I know what he's talking about six months ago, but I have no idea what the two things could be. Right, get over it. Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at the circus? Okay, okay. There's no need to look scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there. Some juicy burgers. Let's eat instead. Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Uh, actually, I kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident? This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How did you- I just said that Regina told me. Okay, that's- that's the same answer for both of their first ones. I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting her head inside Leon's mouth. Or like putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo. Don't climb up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... 
Mo, is this the person that you promised you wouldn't say anything? Oh, yeah. It must have been Acro, right? How, how did you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Ringmaster. No, no way. I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. Well, I'm sorry, Acro. Facts. That psych lock was so easy. Thank you. <clears throat> it's just like you said, you know. The accident. Did someone die? <laughs> Dude, Ace Attorney music is the best. No, but it would have probably been better if he had. What? How would you- wait, how would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he'd suffered massive brain damage? He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. We gotta go to a hospital? Coma? All he does now is lie in his, his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Just like episode 5. Marshall? The Marshall brothers? I forget. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. B brother They were an acrobatic team of brothers, Acro and Bat. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team, cut down together in their prime. That's crazy. I would have never guessed that. Um, who was Acro's younger brother? <laughs> uh, where do you look like you're from? Sean Dingling, but everyone called him Bat. He fell in love with Regina, trying to win her love was his downfall. What is it with everybody falling in love with a 16-year-old girl, bro? I want to get out of this episode right now. He fell in love with Regina, trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Yeah, everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden, Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon. Why'd he do that? I don't know, but... That's what caused the accident. Don't show me a picture. <laughs> he was like, I can do it too. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was smiling. He, you mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. Some sick grin. No way! That's impossible! Smirking lion. Flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Nick? Can lions smile? I don't know, dude. Okay? We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. <laughs> right in the face. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious, what was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness has put me in a mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. What is this, bro? I have this, bro. Shik 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 shik. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Oh yeah, I was about to say pepper. I get it. Sneezing. 
Nice. What a wonderful sneeze. Huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel. That's basic clownsmanship. Girl, I know you gotta understand that. What is What does that mean? Nick, I think I'd make a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. <laughs> that, I've never said that before. That ever happened to you? You say something, you're like, wow, I've never said those words before together in my life. Does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does. Bat would always tease her with pepper. So why the heck was there paper in, or pepper in the 20 pound box? Is he really alive? Dude, he's faking his coma. Bat? From my point of view, those two always looked so perfect together. They look perfect together, huh? Twenty-two. Okay, he's... I was gonna say he's the youngest out of all of them, but Max is, actually. Max looks like a grown-ass man at twenty-one. This dude looks like he's fifteen. <laughs> Mo's forty-six. I don't think I never knew that. Ooh, but now I think I can break through, um, what's-his-face's Psycloc. We can't go visit, uh, what's-his-face at the hospital? I don't think there's any reason to, actually. Now that I think about it. Ah, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well, he did say, I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? He went back because Acker was hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know. Well, well. It seems that you've got things you want to talk about, so fire away. He said, hit me with your best shot. This dude is ripped, too. Or shredded, my guy. Okay, so I already know the first one. It's, uh, Leon. So... Let me present that really quick. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, he was trying to protect his brother. Right? Okay. Bat. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? That's how you got in that terrible injury. Okay, now I don't know what this last one could be. Mo, M he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue. <laughs> Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Cut down together in their prime. Okay. Yep. That was where he slipped, and that's how I... F I you know what? I kind of thought that line was weird, too, but I didn't speak on it. You two ended up at the center of the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. Still haven't broken Akira's last psych lock. This must be one incredibly deep-seated secret. Shit! It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Akira, I know you are still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being evasive. Dude, you, you never want to talk about Max. Damn it. I think it's Regina. Yeah, there's no- yeah. Oh, because Bat liked Regina. And he didn't like her. Let's go! R Regina. You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she is cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regan tried to attack you? Twice. Ha ha. He wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believed she spurred on Leon to attack Bat- Back- Bat, huh? Are you? <gasps> 
Then why would Mo mention that he smiled? Oh my gosh. Synapses are firing. Links are connecting. The truth is becoming ever so clearer. Leon was never taught to command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Don't... Maybe I overdid it again. But if I can hand over something, if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. Okay, I knew it. Th this. Where did you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed it was there at the round breakfast time. I always take Agro his breakfast in the morning. You wrote this and then put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. Oh, that feels satisfying. Let's go. <laughs> Say less. My legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago. My younger brother, Bat. He had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. Absurd? If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. That's insane! Didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid too. But that Leon was very old to begin with. That line was very old to begin with. An age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened? He just wanted to take her out. To the movies. Poor Bat! When Leon chomped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me and that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason I keep why I keep going. Bad and Regina. They were such great friends. Oh yeah. I wanted you to take a look at this. What is that? This is my- this is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross! It's covered in blood! <laughs> this scarf. It was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. Yep. He? Yeah, Leon. Obviously. Oh! When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know, most of the same thing. Okay, so... What do you think it all means? Oh, that's Franziska for sure. I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Miss Von Karma? I've already heard everything. So hand over the scarf. But the scarf is evidence in the trial. That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served a summons to Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro will talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro? A witness? 
come, Acro. Let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. So wait, why would- wait, what does he have against Max, then? He didn't speak on Max at all. If anything, he has something against Regina. I'm confused now. Hold up. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle t what are, wait, uh, how- what? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you, all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. To be continued. Whoa! Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I always think I know who it is, like, within the first 30 minutes of investigating. Because it always presents somebody that always either says or does something that's sus, right? Towards the end, that same person always says or presents something to me that changes my mind. This dude claims that he saw Max rise up outside his window, right? I for sure know that's the bust, because it's gone from the cafeteria, and Mo and Acro claim that they saw Max. The only thing that looks like Max that someone could use besides Max is the bust. So whoever took the bust, and they obviously use the wires that Max uses, for his aerial stunt during the circus, which is the invisible wires. Who knows how to work those, right? Acro, maybe? Dude's strong? But he can't access the rooftop in his wheelchair. He can't leave the building. And plus we didn't find any like clear evidence that there is a way for him to access the rooftop. Okay, this is kind of confusing a little bit because whoever is doing this is trying to frame Max. And Acro didn't even want to talk about Max, so he has something against Max. I don't know if that's because Max is just like a general douchebag towards the circus group or what. But it's either Acro, Regina, I don't think Mo did it. Regina's unaccounted for on the night of the murder, so it's probably her. Who knows? Anyway. Uh, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, other than this, you see it on playing if you want to see any of that stuff. You know, the usual. Subscribe, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, etc. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the courtroom.